I need to know everything Who in the what and the where I need everything Trust me, I hear what you're saying But act like it's new what you're telling me I'm curious, George I hop in the Porsche with five and a horse I'm ready for war I'm coming for throws To turn to a ghost I need to know everything Now you be surprised at the info you get Is by letting them talk So I'm letting them talk Gotta keep quiet, maneuver in science Then let them in talk up their body Another one body That's just how it go I got some secrets I'm shaking the game So they stay on their toes Stay in your lane I stay on the go What's up, roommates? It's your boy, Baker. We're back with not only a second episode, but I'm doing it for the fellas this time. Shout out to Timmy because she got it with the ladies. Shout out to Sweetie as well. I got my guy, Interleague Chopper. What's going on, my boy? What's up, man? How you feeling? I feel great. I feel great. Your birthday is coming up. You about to drop a mixtape on your birthday. I'm going to light. So what we about to do is right now we at Gear Locker in LA. It's black owned. So, you know what I'm saying? So the whole purpose is we're going to keep it 100, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you got to keep it 100 not only with the budget, but with the questions as well. Questions. Now, I'm going to give you a chance to mm -hmm. actually add more money to your budget, but you got to answer the questions I give you. Okay. You cool with that? <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. All right. So you see this jar right here? We about to pick whatever outfit you about to wear tonight. You got to wear like, it's a shirt, pants. We got socks right here. You even got like the stickers, the keychains. You got the hats. You got the Thug Mona they Lisa over there in the back. They got a lot. <laughs> so you can just pick from this jar and we're going to see Damn. what outfit you about to get. Intuition, to me, Pete. Okay, this okay. One. What we about to get? What we about to get? A birthday. <laughs> hey, birthday. <laughs> Shout out to all the Scorpios. We about to get you fly for your birthday this Sunday, bro. All right, my guy. So here's your $100. We're going to start off with that, right? Let me break down the uh, prices for you. The shirts, you can get one for 15 or you can get two for 25, right? Okay. Now the jackets up there, they 50. I mean, at that point you over your budget, so you would have to answer a question. It's crazy. The pants, 50 to 60. Okay. And then the hoodies are 40. The socks are 10 if you want some socks, you know what I'm saying? So all right, Beth, what you, what you feeling over here? I it's your sure. birthday, so you know what I'm saying? We going, we going for a whole birthday fit. We Scorpios, yeah. Scorpio season, so you gotta make sure you fly. Yeah, so what shirts you think you feeling right now? I for so sure feel the nip drip. And um what's crazy, I got some Crenshaw melons growing in my garden too. So oh, for I real? so fuck with on um, the nip drip. But, so um, we feeling the nip, right? I feel the nip one. I mean you got like the little bag of money right here. That's cool. What this is, the baby look like the baby. <laughs> <laughs> this right here, it might be the baby. The baby is this you? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, you dropping this mixtape, right, on your birthday yeah. from dark to light, man. Mm -hmm. So I, I just want to know what inspired that because you dropping it at 11, 11. So you mm -hmm. got to let us know so, why you decided on that time. Pretty much I'm real big on angel numbers. just, And I know a lot of people know this. Not even you ain't got to be too spiritual to know that 11, 11 at that time, it's the time you make like you a wish make or a you wish, say yeah. an affirmation that you want to see come to light. So um, one of my affirmations, I've been saying a lot of affirmations is, um, and one of them is around around my album. I say I had a number one album, or I am the number one artist. I am the best artist ever, the okay. best artist ever. So I feel like my wish would come true if I drop it at 11, 11. I'm with that. You got any features on it? Um, I got a I I got a Big Sean feature and uh, Ink. Okay. How you link up with Big Sean? I hit him through Twitter because I realized um he was pretty much on the same thing. I've been on a lot of meditation. Okay. And I was like. I ain't gonna lie, I gotta make sure he on my album. Yeah. And I told him, I said, bro, you gonna be on my, I already wrote it down in my journal. You, you called it to life. The fact that you called and you played that out, you hit a big shine, so shout out to Big Sean yeah, for that. Sure. All right, let's see. We still ain't found no shirt yet. But I feel like I'm, I'm fuck around and go with the new drip. You gonna go with the nip? If this is small. Is this a small? Yeah, it's a small too, right here. All for right, me. cool. How you even plan on celebrating your birthday? See me, I don't do nothing. I mean, I don't smoke, I don't drink. I don't like being around a lot of people. Okay. So every time somebody asks me, I be like, man, I don't know. I really don't, don't know. know. It's gonna be like another day for me. I just wanna, I just want love, <laughs> really. I mean, I'm with that. More life, more blessings. And you know, you actually just spoke about not smoking. So you quit smoking weed. I uh, is too. Like, yeah. how does it feel? Cause I know people that smoke and once they stop smoking, it's a whole different level whole different energy, you feel different. So like, since you stopped, it's what's like, your vibe like? It's like, I'm an independent being. So the moment I feel like I need something or I need to do this before I do something, it kind of holds me back. Okay. So I feel like I was like, I was relying on smoking before I even ate, before I even, before I recorded, even while, while I was recorded, I had a blunt with me. So it was just like, 
it was like I kind of low key became a slave to it because it was like, right. man, I need this before I do this, you know. So now it's just all relying on me and my energy, just how I'm feeling, what I'm feeling, whatever I'm feeling, I do it. Like I don't be needing nothing before. I don't think I needed some water. I be needing water. I fuck with that. I drink a lot more water. Drink your eight glasses of water a day. You feel me? Nah, that's good, bro. It's cool. You want a positive affirmation, bro. So I respect that. For sure. You know what I'm like eighteen is a whole different age, bro. <laughs> you finally legal. You know. For sure. Like, I feel like I the females been waiting on that shit. <laughs> All right, cool. So we about to go back to smoking, bro. So sure. how did you feel when you stopped smoking? Like that first two weeks. So while I was smoking, I was really still like meditating. When I was meditating, I'd come out of my meditation and I'd smoke. But okay, so the energy I had after meditating, it was like a more calming energy, a more relaxed energy. I, I'm letting my day come to me type energy, right? Okay. And as soon as I would hit that blunt, <clears throat> my anxiety would just come back. I'd start to overthink this, overthink that. And I, I feel like it's more so the backwoods than the weed, but uh. just... I feel like the weed got some shit in it too now because like I ain't gonna lie, before weed was legal, it was only about three to four strands. You got OG, you got Chronic, you got Kush. And, it was only like and a now few. you got like Obama runs that yeah, everybody think like, they getting or like money bag runs, oh like God. all these different type of weed strands. So I feel you on that. And then like it was another shit I peeped. It was like they said somebody it, it caused some type of cancer in here. I don't know, I just be feeling like it just be different shit to keep. Keep us, us black people, a lot of black people, or just anybody at a low vibration state, right? Yeah. So, after I stopped smoking, two weeks after smoking, stopped smoking, man, I realized I could wake up. Like, I was waking up earlier. I went, my my willpower was way better. Like You just I, felt I like all shit. different. Like, your energy, you hopping out the bed, like, yeah. I'm here, you know what I'm saying? And it was crazy, though, before I blew. I ain't too much like smoking. Like, I, I smoked before I blew, but okay. not like how I did. I probably smoke like once a month or once every three months just to try to see was I able to have a better high than I had last time, right? Ah, and gotcha. it was always a bad high before I blew, but when I blew up, I got into smoking and shit. Because and you feel like I it feel was like, like a lot going to go on. Down. Yeah, it was a lot going on. Yeah. A lot going on. At a point, it was helping me. I okay. felt it was helping me, but it really was crippling me to where. I was just relying on it too much and I couldn't rely on my own energy from within, you know? Hey. So, now I'm happy, I'm happy as a motherfucker, I don't need to smoke no more. I be looking at videos of me smoke, I be like, damn, I used to smoke big air blunts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, so you got one shirt that's 15, you get another one for 25, you got like any other shirt you want? Oh, I gotta say I've been having my eye on this one right here. No, I stop shirt right here. Okay, now I stop dripping. <laughs> All right, back. So we got we got this one and we got this one back here. So we'll put this. I want to talk about zodiac signs real quick, bro. Like a lot of people do not like Scorpios. You know what I'm saying? But they love hate Scorpios. But for you, like, what type of female zodiac sign is like compatible for you? I mean, I fuck with. I fuck with a lot of Sagittarius, and um, I fuck with the Leos, but um, really, um, um, as far as like just, do I be like, oh, this she gotta be this zodiac sign for our cover? Like I don't be knowing, like I don't, I don't really get too much into it, but I feel like I should. And people don't like Scorpios that much because they don't take the time to try to understand. Man, what? <laughs> That's you what feel it me? be. They be like, man, Scorpios like. They moody, they, moody, they, moody yeah. they sensitive, they got a high <laughs> sex drive, that might be true. <laughs> bro, I like your outlook, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you turn 18, bro, mm -hmm. so you know, you might got like all these shorties trying to holler at you 30, <laughs> 35, 21. They been hollering, but hey, bro, I feel like it's gonna be a lot more now. So it's definitely gonna like, be a lot more. They like, oh, he legal, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the roommates, they wanna know like, what's Chopper's ideal girl? Like, ideal girl. This. I feel like my mama, she a hard working lady. She hard working, she determined, she independent. She always, she don't need for nothing. Whenever I can get around a female and I feel like a mama type vibe, yeah, but, but like that, the yeah. same characteristics as like your mom, like just how caring she is, like what she'll do, or how, how much she go out her way, what she'll do to make sure you straight. I mean, I feel like that'll sure. be the best girl for you. So roommates, if y'all trying to holler at Chopper when he wants to get a girl, <laughs> Go just look up Mama Chopper and you gotta follow them characters. And I'ma know if you, you done did me? it, cause this a rip, this a fake. I don't want no fake shit. You can study your Mama Chopper. You gotta study it. <laughs> hey 
Hey, bro, so let, let's go back, man. Like, what's the oldest age you ever dated? What's the oldest, like, that even ever tried to holler at you? The oldest that I done had, like, it wasn't a relationship thing, but it was it like. It was just like an entanglement. That's what, that's what <laughs> why entanglement, I was thinking that shit? You feel me? <laughs> um, this is before I done got on what I'm on now. <laughs> right, but, um, she was 46. 46? Yeah. How old were you? 16. She was bad though. Bro, 30 years? That's a lot of years, but look. She could have paid for your college tuition at that <laughs> point. Like, I always told myself, I was getting a cougar. I could have been her son's oh. son. Nah, you could have been her son's son for <laughs> sure. 46? But nah, for sure. I don't want to show you no pictures, but if I was to show a picture, I mean, you you'd be like, pick, like 22, okay. 20. She, that's how old she look? Yeah, for oh, sure. Wow. No surgery, no nothing. Just natural black beauty. Black don't crack. It, black do not crack. I don't mess with women, females my age. Like, I'm 17, I'm finna be Why, 18. Why, you feel like they too immature? They, man, they all in they phone. I don't even be on my phone. If I wake up, if I wake up right, and I look to my left, you laying beside me, and you on your phone, you look at me while I'm up, I'm just looking, and you look back at your phone. You can't even say good morning to me, you can't. So like the first thing she does is like, hold on, let me check my Instagram real yeah. quick, let me see who tweeted me. And other than that, I be wanting a female, wake a grand rising king, bring me some breakfast or something. You on your phone, like, you know, I don't even, I don't get on my phone at two o'clock. Damn like man. 2 p.m.? 2 p.m. Dang, bro, I can't do that. <laughs> I wish I can do that, but I can't do that. So speaking of making food, bro, like you posted this video, you doing your whole vegan breakfast situation. <laughs> How is the vegan life for you so far? And shit, beautiful. Like it's too beautiful that today I'm fasting. Like I'm not even gonna eat How today. How long you been fasting? I just started this fast today. Like okay. I'm just drink water today because um, I mean the way we eat, it don't matter what we eat. Even though the vegan food good, like vegan food is gonna come in and it's gonna come at you. Like your valve nice, moving be right. better. But once you eat the food that other people be eating, it might come in, stay in you a long time. You get stomach, you know. You, it, right. you got to be able to give your immune system like a break, okay. so it can be the strongest. It can be able to fight whatever. Cold showers and shit help with your immune system too. So it just be a lot of that, and you just got to know like sometimes you got to know God ain't put us here to just love food like that anyway. It's, nah, it's much more to it's like. Definitely way more to like that whole situation. Cold showers, I ain't doing that, bro. So you, you alone. <laughs> like, my shower gotta be hot. But I mean, I don't know. Like being in LA, it do get hot sometimes. So mm -hmm. cold shower just might, you know what I'm saying? Going run in the shower, going when you overheat it or something, just gonna try to do it. Yo, debut album, like it reached top ten in mm -hmm. the Billboard 200. So it's gold too. I don't wait no money. I don't wait no money. They need to send my shit in. That's that's tight. <laughs> so appreciate. Um, all right, cool. So, you like any of these jean jackets? Um, I fuck with the message on this one before. For sure, wake up. The mind is infinite. Wake up, wake up. The love. The love. Um, you All create your reality, no cap. Right, your kid. thoughts create your reality. You see, your thoughts hold a certain type of frequency, right? And when you think it bad, your DNA attracts bad. You attract bad. But when you think it good, you think it positive. You attract the good and the positive. So this, this true as hell. You create your reality. This probably go over a lot of people's heads, but for real, your thoughts create your whole reality. That's a tweet. That's a gem. For that's real. Like, that's everything. But that's real. That's real talk. We are love. All great achievements require time. Nah, this this time, right divine here. Divine time. Like, time is key, bro. Like <laughs> people be thinking like we should be where we should be at, like mm -hmm. at a certain time where we see others like it's selling. But I be trying to tell people like it's all about God's time. For sure, man, like, divine time, time yeah. too. Like that's why, that's why you. Know, I try to stay off my phone, yeah. you know, because you. Because I know a lot of people think they not where they at in life just out social media, social media, looking yeah. at other people. You know, it's divine time. You got to, if you steady relapsing, going back out there because you looking at somebody else, you like, oh, I ain't there yet. You know, you going for sure not be there. You got to put that phone down, focus on self, know what your real goals is, your purpose in life. Because the shit you looking at, that, not, that might not even be your purpose in life. You feel me? That's why you held back. And then, like, what's for you is for you. Like, remember that. That's a gym, too. For sure. All right, cool. Let me see. So, yeah, we, we copping a jean jacket. I'm gonna get both of these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So look, so this both of these fifty, bro. <laughs> you already at 
25, so that's 125. Look, he's slow as they are he a fit up. Hey, look, look, look. I, I'm a graduate. I graduated, <laughs> but math is my my thing. You feel me? But nah, so man, we at 125, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give you a question. I, I gotta give you like a big question though. All right. So <laughs> your question is, what's your most expensive piece of jewelry? My most expensive piece of jewelry, Cartier. Okay. How much was that? 40. 40k? Yeah. That could have paid my student loans off. <laughs> 40, but. Let me think though. My grill, I I got, I think my grills though, really, cause I ran, I got three of them. I lost one. I lost, no, I had four. Let me think before I talk. I had four grills, right? Okay. The first one I bought for like 5K. It was too damn big. And I ended and up- And like when you was talking, it, it was kind of like dentures? Yeah. <laughs> and um, I ended up losing that one, right? Okay. I bought another one. This was Jenny Dane. It was um he tried to say 20k me i'm not finna do that you that's know that's, i talked him down you might as well get your whole like a oh, like, whole new mouth on me like, for real so it was 20 i talked him down to like 13 okay 12. i lost that one i lost them all the same way right i put them in a napkin because mine mine not permanent that you know i can like, take them out up. And I, I used to always put them in a napkin and, and end up you, throwing them throwing away. Them it's funny, bro, because I got a vision line, right? When I take them joints out and I put it in a napkin, I'm like, dang, where, where, where my vision line at? But you different, because, like, <laughs> my vision line ain't cost no dang going yeah, no. 20K. So, I mean. But this about the only thing I care about, though, because it keep you smiling a certain type of way. All this, I wear crystals. I always keep the crystals with me. Okay, you got the crystal in the back. Homie said I had to get pre-birthday. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got like some little. This this giving me like island vibes. On me, some Hawaii shit, some or some Hawaii, Miami yeah, shit. Yeah, or like Miami. Especially this. What? Uh, what's this? We got like the little SpongeBob. Um, <laughs> SpongeBob little uh, house on here. <laughs> this a pineapple girl. Nah, I'm saying like SpongeBob house is a pineapple, bro. It is, but. You gonna say SpongeBob I mean, has I mean, over the I mean, pineapple? I mean, that's what I, that's what I see right now. Which I see? Y'all see a pineapple? Y'all see SpongeBob? <laughs> I don't know. Then you got watermelon. You know, we love some watermelon. We love them. And cool. you got pineapple. They know. got the seeds in them too. Black seeds. It's hey, organic. The watermelon has to have black seeds in it. For sure. These might be perfect, but they these sixty five, bro. So you got two more questions. To answer, I can give you more money. So you with that? I'm with it, I'm with it. All right, back. So this is the question for 60s. Any rapper you wish fans would stop comparing you to? Any rapper I wish fans would stop comparing me to. I'm not gonna lie, everywhere I go, even the actress said this. What's this actress she playing in that movie? Um she she um she got this mole on her face, she a black lady. She yeah, funny as hell though. I think she was on this girls trip. Oh, Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany, yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Bro, I was at a vegan place eating and she said I look like Bryce Shear Gray. Well, that ain't from, the first uh, time I heard from it. Empire. From Empire. I, I can. can. I can kind of see that. <laughs> just like just like a tad bit, I can see that. I'm glad that you only see the tad bit, though, because everybody be saying that shit. I don't, I don't see it at all. Okay. I'm going to give you 20. Back down. Right here. And that one was 60. So that's boom, 40. I do know how to count, y'all. <laughs> that's 40, 50, 60. Ooh, one of them old 10s. I might not even spend these. That's one of the joints that you frame. You know, the $2 bills. Like, I know my pops got like a wall of $2 bills. So. I think they be worth something, too. I ain't gonna lie. All right, cool. You got that. You got the two. So you're gonna cop the two jean jackets, right? Yeah. You're gonna cop the two shirts. Then you got the pants. So I'm gonna give you another question just so we make sure we like within the budget when we get to the register. Okay. So the last question is for $80, right? Okay. You know, you a new father now. So how has that like helped you a part of your whole new journey? I mean, me just being a father, I feel like, I feel like just me being a father, just the process of me becoming one. Um, it really okay. changed, it molded me. I feel like God was just molding me a certain type of way because a lot of the things I was thinking, I was like, how would I change? Because I know, like, in my heart, I was like, I'm going to be the best father ever, right? I'm going to be For the sure. best father. I kept saying that. And as I spoken into his existence, like, a lot of stuff started unfolding for me. Like, it would just be a certain space that I couldn't even just be with my daughter every 
every day or you know i couldn't i ain't seen my daughter since the first week she was born so like i feel like i took that time to work i worked on myself so much to work i molded me into some a role a real role model for her right so now when i come when she come back around me it's like it's gonna be beautiful even more beautiful than what i thought it was going to be so i mean i just i feel like it's so unexplainable bro like on some real shit though, like a nigga happy as hell. It's, it's, a, whole, it's, it's a whole different <laughs> feeling. Like only like those who actually are father or like that's in the whole parenthood can like actually explain that. But like how you said, like you on a whole different path. That's so true. not only like are you an inspiration to her, like your fans, like that whole younger demographic, like it's coming like full circle, bro. Mm -hmm. So you gonna and put it on that whole vegan wave, like <laughs> Everything. All of that. For sure. Right, cool. She gonna be my mini me and girl form. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at that, bro. So I'm gonna give you this 80. 80. We're about to go to the register, check out, you know, put together this outfit. You feel so me? Let's do that. So let's go. <laughs> let's do that. Cool. All right, so look, he didn't keep it 100, but he kept it 100 with the questions, though. So we gonna sure. see, like, what's your question? You answer all the questions, bro, so. I had to. So let's let's so. figure this out. All right, cool. So these 165, my man. All right, cool. 165. Yup, two for 25 right here. I don't need 165. No, just no, 65. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to say, bro, you might got to pull out your car. Bro. <laughs> like, the budget way over. I'm like, that for every time right now. <laughs> then these ones, 50 and 50 right here. 50, 50. Yup, right, 50 cool. and 50. All together, man, just 190, man. 190. Hey, bro. Yup. You, you definitely got way more than 190, you feel me? I got way more, so I can get the kid there. I, I mean, the kid, I maybe go get some tacos or something, but you know I'm like, fast in the day. Oh yeah, I forgot, go get some water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't like, I got some water. All right, back, so 190, we cool, like we gonna back Dude, this 190, up. 190, I got you, my man. If y'all ever in LA, make sure y'all go to Gear Locker, and guess what, like I said, it's all black on. We appreciate y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to keep it on 100. Got my boy, NLE Chopper. NLE, gang gang, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all, roomies. Yo, what's up? It's NLE Chopper. You know we supporting black-owned businesses. Gear Locker LA. That's where we at. Appreciate you, my man. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. Let's get it. NLE. <laughs>